Hey guys, what's up? This is our uh, next generation video game nerd. That's ngvgn.com. Um, today, I just want to talk about Netflix, and I know people have already already been talking about Netflix on Xbox 360 and PS3, um, but I want to go over why I prefer the PS3 Netflix experience to the Xbox experience. Um, don't get me wrong; the Xbox is phenomenal with Netflix, but when you, I want to go watch on the new arrivals, and <clears throat> as you can see, as I'm going by these movies, I don't have a rating. It doesn't tell me the stars of the ratings. So let's look right here. This movie right here. Uh, this movie gets um, two and a half stars. So I have to um, judge it by the cover. You know, see if it's something I want to watch. You know, click the button and then find the rating and then go back. I find this a little bit of a pain, but on the PS3, let me just switch over. All right, on the PS3, if we if we go over to um, <coughs> New Arrivals and Movies, Um, you know, it's the same as on Xbox. You, you know, you can't tell the rings by looking at all these pictures. But let's say this movie right here, uh, Passengers. As I click down, like I'm going to play it, but it actually tells me the rating systems. And on the left and the right, you can see the ba um, uh, left and right arrow. You can view the movies one by one and get the ratings and flip through. I actually think this is a really good benefit. And I hope they in somehow include it in, in the Xbox 360. Because um, to me, net, the Netflix streaming, it's good to have. Um, it's a plus uh, for renting uh, d uh, physical DVDs. But in a lot of ways, they don't get the really good movies, the hot titles. Um, usually it takes a while in, until they come uh, come in. For the net, net, net um, excuse me, uh, Netflix streaming, um, you know, when you look at some of their, um, let me just go right, right here. I'm gonna go by and see all the movies that you know just come off the top of your head to say, hey, I want to watch this. Um, now a lot of these movies are pretty bad. And really nothing really comes in my mind that, hey, I want to watch this, really. Um, out of 100 movies, yeah, really nothing really that make, makes me say, hey, I want to watch this. But <clears throat> let's go to uh, Instant Inquiry. I probably picked some things here. Actually, anybody who's a science uh, fiction fan, Jeremiah is actually a really good show. Um... The same guy um, that wrote Babylon 5 wrote this. Uh, J. Michael Skowinski. So, as you can see, I kind of picked out some things that, you know, I would probably like watching. Um, and again, there's not, nothing like AAA titles here that you're gonna, really going to find on Netflix uh, stream. I know they have Lord of the Rings, the third one. Um, I've seen Terminator. I think I saw the first one. Uh, maybe the second one was um, on a new release. Um, but, I mean, the Netflix streaming overall really isn't that great. Let's go over for TV shows. See what they got over here. Actually, there's a show called Leverage. Anybody who's into it, maybe like a show like Burn Notice. You know... It's a little bit better than uh, Scooby-Doo, Law and Order crap. You know, hey, we found a dead body. Let's solve the mystery. Actually, Bullshit by Penn Tell is actually a really fun show to watch. I mean, I'm not a Lost fan, but I'm glad Netflix has it. It is. Um, it has proven itself um, that it is a AAA title for most people that like this type of show. But again, I'm not a Lost fan, so but I'll still count it as quality. You know, 30 Rock, there's a show that's worth watching. I really like that. The Office is awesome. Um, you know, <clears throat> Desperate Housewives, you know, that's a triple A show. Again, not my type of show, but 
it's good that Netflix has record um, has gotten some of these triple eight uh, shows for Netflix streaming. Legend of the Seeker, um, I kind of stopped watching it after the third or fourth episode. Um, a friend of mine who's really into shows like this, Hercules, Xena, and these fantasy things, he said the same thing. It really picked up um, around the sixth episode, and he said the show actually really got really, really good. So I'm actually going to check this out again. Uh, Heroes. I watched the first season. Uh, I didn't watch season two or three. Um, I was kind of bored one day, and I just the TV was on. And I watched it, so I'm starting to get back into Heroes. Actually, The Shield is an excellent TV uh, show. I never really got into it because I wasn't really around when it was playing on FX, but now Netflix streaming has it, and so I'm kind of glad about that. Actually, Stellar, I think, is a comedy show by... I think that's uh, from Comedy Central about these three really weird guys. Um, if that's the show I'm thinking of, thinking of that I saw a couple of years ago, it's actually a pretty good show. Forest Gates, that's a really fun show to watch. But, you know, you don't really get too much of the really really good stuff on Netflix streaming and the reason because of that is you know Netflix streaming has to um, take in consideration that every time you watch one of their shows they have to pay like maybe about 20 cents or 15 cents depending on how long an episode is for their servers so you're only going to get so much so you have to think of Netflix streaming as a cable channel it's probably one of the better cable channels that, you know, even if you're paying a hundred dollars for net, uh, direct TV, which I am, I mean, I get all the channels, HBO and uh, Showtime and don't watch too much of that stuff. I mean, have it for sports. Um, if you want to watch news and sports, that's the only time I really think having uh, Comcast or direct TV is worth it now. Um, the comedy seem to be a little bit better. Again, it's always good to go down and just flip by the ratings. Actually, Jeff Durham, guy's awesome. Unbelievable uh, comedian. You'll laugh your ass off. So, um, you know, that's... Uh, actually, let me just go out of Netflix. I want to show you guys something else. Um, some of you guys are probably, I'm running a little short on time, so let me just get a net, network error. All right, here it goes. Let me see. Okay. I, I have a, pro, a program running on my laptop right now, which is called Play On, and their website is called TheMediaMall.com. And I get Netflix, um... Amazon Vogue on demand. I get Hulu, which is awesome. Uh, CBS, YouTube. Uh, you can't surf for uh, YouTube, but you can put in user accounts like uh, Shane Tard, Sexy Phil, stuff like that. Just put in the, uh, their usernames and they'll pop up. CNN. Uh, CNN's awesome for tech uh, technology um, clips. They have a really good um, tech, uh, tech section. Uh, ESPN, uh, My Media. That's um, something also made a pl uh, plugin, so you can um, look at your own files in your computer if you want to stream them. So these are all the plugins, and these this is uh, these plugins come from another community uh, of Play On, and there's a link on when you go to themediamall.com, go to plugins, and they give you a link to a bunch of uh, programmers who are fans of, of the software and who make uh, plugins for pretty much any um, TV station out there that also has videos on their website. You know, so you get a whole bunch of stuff here and it costs you $40 for the software. Sometimes you can find it cheaper with a coupon code or something. Um, and you just pretty much get all this stuff. So it's $40, just need, you know, DSL or cable or whatever and you can stream all this stuff right to your Xbox 360 or PS3 Nintendo Wii and a 
bunch of other devices. So this is really good, guys. I have to go. I'm running out of time. Later, guys. Take care. Bye.